Well, after finishing part one of this video, I realized there were some things I could have explained better. And there's something in it that isn't quite true, it turns out. So I'm going to try and fix it now. So this first part is a bit more information about the lifting of a tilt tower. So in part one, when I was showing the winch cable connections, there was just this one single cable going up to the top from the winch. Well, being able to use just one winch cable at the top to lift this is possible only because this tower is very rigid and made even more stiffer by having these diagonals going all the way down. So this type of tower and this short a tower would be fine to lift up with only one cable at the top. But if this tower were longer or was of the thin wall tubular type, This center would likely bow down when trying to lift or lower it, possibly leaving the tower permanently bent, let alone folding up and collapsing to the ground. It's another fine mess you've got us into this time, Ollie. Now this bending weakness might also hold true for this other lighter duty lattice tower I showed you with thinner pipes and no diagonals. I don't know on this one. Better to be safe than sorry though. So the way to deal with this bending problem is to use the lower guy cable at the halfway point and hook it to the winch too. So when the tower is being raised or lowered, both places are being supported. And even for this rigid tower, if it had been longer, I would have used this second cable also. Okay, now I wanted to talk about these upper guy cable connectors. In part one, I said that I wished I'd have used the next larger size eye bolt instead of these, but that they would work okay for now. I also mentioned how I wished I'd have added a steel gusset here to this eye bolt so it could handle the force of the winch. So what I'd like to add to this now is that I think that this steel gusset welded on should be included on all three of the other eye bolts too. They don't need to be quite as big as the one that's on the winch eye bolt. I would make the gussets about eighth inch thick minimum. The red arrow, of course, is showing the direction the guy cables are pulling. Now this eye bolt method is just one way out of probably a dozen, some of them likely better and simpler to install. And now finally, this was the item that was not quite true. I said that this had to be mounted in an enclosed outdoor rated box. Well, that's not correct. It turns out this unit can actually be run outside. It's outdoor rated, but I don't like it being in the sun. So I'm going to put this little can over it and maybe a rock on top so the can won't blow off. Now there's a lot of specifics not being mentioned here that are really important such as what size diameter cable do I use, how big the concrete anchors should be. Those items sometimes are found in the turbine installation manual for a do-it-yourself tower. I would seek the help of a professional structural engineer in this field if I wasn't sure.